I'm Bradley Johnson with 1-800-DUI-AWAY. Not getting behind the wheel after drinking is the best choice. But if you're pulled over, the next best choice is to call 1-800-DUI-AWAY. It's another Jubal phone tab. And weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on moving 92.5. Thank you for calling Hobbit. This is Jerry. Hi, Jerry. My name is Ron. I'm not sure if you're the person who I should be speaking with, but I had a unfortunate situation happen in the store last night, and I need to talk to somebody about it. Yeah, well, I'm the manager here, so what, what's going on? Okay, good. Well, here's what happened. My son wanted to get some blue chalk for an art project that he was doing. Okay. Okay. And when we took a look in the chalk area, your store didn't have the shade of blue that he wanted, so typical kid fashion, he kind of freaked out a little bit, you know? Right. Right. Yeah. So he screamed and cried and threw a tantrum right there in the middle of the store. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And at one point, he even dropped his pants and did a number two and then ran off and hit it somewhere. Oh. Yeah. Wait, so he, he did what? He went to the bathroom on the floor and then hit it somewhere in one of your aisles. And you said he did this last night? Yeah. And I'm not sure if any of your workers found it or told you about it. At this hobby. Correct. This happened last. Do you know what area it was in or where? Because we need to get this out of here if it's going to start stinking or anything like that. Yeah. And I'm assuming it's probably pretty unhealthy for people to have that just laying around. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's you, probably, it, there's, we're probably dealing with some sort of health violation. Yeah. Well, okay. Um, I don't know where he put it, but he is next to me right now and wants to apologize, and maybe he'll tell you where it is because I can't get it out of him. Can you get information from him first? Well, can I, I'll just put him on the phone, and maybe he'll tell you. Okay, that's fine. Okay, perfect. Uh, by the way, I should tell you his name is Doodle, and he <laughs> is an adult baby. I don't know if you've ever dealt with one of those. An adult baby? Yeah, he's a full-grown man, but he chooses to live his life as a baby. I'm his caretaker. <laughs> So can he talk? Yeah, 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 he can. So I'm, I'll, I'll put him on, and he feels bad. Fine, fine, just put him on. Okay, hold on one second. I'll pass the phone over to him. Hi. Hello? <laughs> it's me, Doodle. Hi, Doodle. Hi. So your caretaker mentioned you may have had an accident in the store? <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> Doodle did it. Doodle. Okay, do you do you remember where Doodle, you have... doodle, duty. I got that you did a duty. I understand that, but where is it? Where did you put the duty? It's a secret. I don't care if it's a secret. It's a health violation. <laughs> we have bathroom. Uh, hello? 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 Yeah, what... That... Um, excuse me, what just happened? Doodle didn't give me any inf added information. Well, what did you say to him? He's crying. He's not crying. Yes, he is. Did you hear him at the end of your conversation? He's crying, and how dare you make my son cry? Your son, or whoever this is, you said he's an adult male, so that means it's not even a small amount of poop. So just, I need to know where it is so we can get it right. cleaned up. Yes, but you obviously said something to hurt his feelings. He has feelings, you know. I'm, I'm going to put him on again, and you apologize. No, I do I'm not putting want him to on. Talk to, I do not want to talk to the adult baby. Hey. Doodle. Doodle. Listen, Doodle. bud, I'm it, sorry if I upset you, but I'm getting upset here. You mad at Doodle? Yes, yes, I'm mad at you. I need you to tell me what's, where this is so we can get it cleaned up. So someone doesn't get hurt or come in here and sue us or slip I'm, or whatever it is. I'm mad at you. Yeah. Don't be mad at me. I didn't do anything. You yell at Doodle. Yes, I'm yelling at Doodle because you're a grown man pretending to be a baby who apparently took a shit in my store and I have to. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Doodle. Can you put your caretaker on? Hello. Okay, this is not funny anymore. This is but... not funny. You've made my baby cry twice now. He's not a baby. You already told me he's an adult male. This is weird shit going on over there. <laughs> That's true because this is a prank phone call. What? This is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you and your employees Cody and Teresa set you up. Oh, 
they told me that they wanted to play a practical joke on you. Oh, so man. <laughs> there, there was no adult baby that went to the bathroom in your store that I know of. Thank, thank God. <laughs> I mean, in all my years, I've never had to deal with something like that before. What? But I was going to just handle it like everything else. <laughs> <laughs> well, until you yelled at an adult baby, that was very disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up every morning with Jubal Phone Tabs. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on Moving 92.5.